Now, what is it like to be on your own? Well, there's a lot of talk about self-isolation, isn't there? Uh, the Prime Minister is saying everyone in the UK should avoid non-essential travel and contact with others to curb the coronavirus. Now, Boris Johnson said we should work from home wherever possible as part of a range of stringent new measures. So what is it like to be alone at home? Well, a housebound woman in Lowestoft knows all about isolation as she's been battling physical and mental health conditions for some years, which has meant that she's had to stay at home. She's 31, she's called Rachel Pickett Nunn, and she says her flock of exotic birds has saved her life. And she says pets can also help other people facing self-isolation during these difficult times. She and her husband, Alan, have been talking to Guy Campbell. I mean, they're all flying around over my head. Which is lovely. And what, what's that little one that's just landed on your that's husband's head? Twanky. Twanky. Yeah, she's a little lovebird. She's pretty, isn't she? Peach face Latino. So I've got Ellis Dallas syndrome, a hypermobile type, but I've also got a currently undiagnosed autoimmune condition, which affects my immune system and various other organs in the body. And I've also got chronic fatigue syndrome as well. You're aching all the time. It's difficult yeah, for you to go out. pain. I don't sleep very well. And when I'm awake, I'm in pain. So it's a constant tired uh, stroke pain cycle. Unfortunately, at the moment, I can't actually leave the house without two full grown adults to carry me down the stairs because it's not accessible. So I'm stuck in this room a lot of a lot of my time. How did the birds help? Well, back in October, uh, I had a bit of a mental crisis uh, due to the isolation and how it all builds up over time. And I felt really, really lonely. And I already had Dylan, my African grey, and Hero, the cockatiel. We were out and um, I met Mr Mumble, uh, our green Quaker. And I was like, that's what I need. I, I just need to kind of surround myself with animals that I love that I can spend my time training and put the commitment in as I've got too much free time on my hands otherwise. I'm just looking at Mr Mumble now. <laughs> he looks a very wise bird and he's looking at you and they've got amazing personalities all of them have got their own strengths and weaknesses just like a, just like toddlers. They have their tantrums and they learn through play and they've all got their individual personalities. I mean Muffin is very intelligent you give he's good at colour matching and things like that. Dylan will count to three, um, our African grey. Mr Mumble, he's the best talker, ironically. I've always been a very busy yeah. person, so being stuck at home was probably the worst thing that could have happened to me. They keep me busy. It's non-stop every day. It's like having a group of three-year-olds. <laughs> you end up with a lot on, on head. your head. <laughs> Twanky wanted to come and say hello. Well, thank you, Twanky. Yeah. You've got your husband here and you've got four children as four well, children. so I know that it's busy for both of you. Now, your isolation has very much been imposed on you. It's not been easy. No. At the moment, as you know, many people, because of the coronavirus, are having to perhaps either are in self-isolation or are having to face it or not perhaps seeing their families as much as they would like. Any advice? Definitely, you know, your pets and your loved ones around you to keep you entertained, keep yourself busy. Favourite TV binges and mental stimulation because you will go crazy very quickly otherwise um having the animals they keep me entertained it's like i've got a room of people to speak to they interact with me that i can speak to them i can train them um and i get feedback from them very much like you would a dog a cat or a child when you're not here it must make you feel slightly reassured that they are here to help your wife a bit. Oh, absolutely. I mean, she knows she's going to be busy and uh, not uh, getting bored. One of the things as well with, with the amount of pain that she's in, having something to occupy her mind um, and do and get, you know, get her mind active, you know, so you're not just thinking about the pain you're in. And uh, yeah, she's always thinking of ideas of, oh, I can, we could do this with the birds, we could do that with the birds. So um, now we do a, a morning pool party. So we'll get, uh, we've got a little tub down there and just under that yellow thing there lukewarm water in there, a little ladder for them, they come and never splash. Never get bored. You can't, because I, I don't need the TV on um, or anything, because they're so much more fun to watch. Rachel pickett Nun and her husband Alan in Lower Stoff. So pets, good for you if you're having to self-isolate. Yeah, company. I think so. Uh, and hopefully we'll fulfil that role as well. Uh, a bit of company for yeah, you over the, uh, the weeks definitely. and months potentially ahead.